Happy Sabbath, friends. On this Sunday morning, hard as it is to believe, we have arrived at the first Sunday in Advent. In the ancient world, various peoples lit fires to mark the turning of the light into winter season and to pray for the return of the light. The church has Christianized that practice in the lighting of the Advent wreath. To us, these candles are signs of the growing light of Christ who is coming again in all fullness into the darkness of our world. Until the dawning of that great day, we watch and wait in holy spirit for Christ coming into the darkness of our world, lighting candles of hope, peace, joy, and love, and remembering the promises of God with prayer. Today and each day of the coming week, we will pray about hope. Let's pray together. Unslumbering God, at an unexpected hour, you sent an unlikely Messiah to an undeserving world. Keep us faithful in our unguarded moments and alert in uncertain times so that we may seek your unmeasured mercy, serve you with undivided hearts, live together in unbroken community, and greet you with unending praise for the sake of Jesus Christ, our underlining life, in whom we know your unfailing justice, unfathomable grace, and unlimited love. Dear Lord, as we continue in prayer, we pray in hope and anticipation of Christ, who is coming again in all fullness to bring light into the darkness of our world. We know the text tells us to keep awake, to be ready for what is to come. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Mark, from the 13th chapter, verses 33 through 37. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It's like a man going on a journey when he comes home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep awake for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Keep awake and be in hope for that which is to come. Amen.